Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to not a video that I really do want to make but I'm going to have to make it because I'm so outraged about this topic. You should know by the title and the thumbnail what it's all about but just in case you don't, we're happy to pay for our football. Um, more so, you may be a Sky Sports subscriber, you may be a BT Sports subscriber. YouTube does not sponsor the video by the way. I'm just so outraged, I thought I've got to get out there. So, like me, I have got BT, I have got Sky Sports. To see these games, you're going to have to pay box office. And the actual price is £14.95. But before I get down to all that, guys, this video is sponsored by Tab Air Printing. If you like a shirt and you want to design a shirt, you know, maybe your club's had a brilliant result. Get that design, use the use the word sport in the code and you'll get 10% off your order and send me a picture with your shirt. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, give us a big front thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go. So, as I've said, as I was saying, we now have got to pay £14.95 14 to watch some football. Now, I've seen outrage by the likes of Gary Neville on Twitter, Trevor Sinclair, I don't know if you know him, but uh, I think I saw him play. You know, and a lot of, even like the ex professionals ain't happy about this. I have got a split opinion of, you know, they're pretty both upsetting to me. One Brighton's got a home game and I'm a season ticket holder and considering our season ticket payments for this season, the current season, started in May and now I want extra £15 on top, that's not right. But I'm just so outraged by the Premier League, by Sky Sports, by BT Sports, by everyone involved with this phone. Out of 20 Premier League clubs, only one club voted against it, and that was Leicester. Fair play to you, Leicester, for doing that. I mean, I did have a soft place for you in my heart, because obviously what happened up at Leicester football round. But that's given me an even softer spot now for Leicester. Fair play for you saying no to this. This is unbelievable. I'm going to run through the games, going all the way through till now to... Uh, the 30th of October, so the end of October, and then I'm going to tell you how much it will cost you if you want to watch all these games. So let's get straight down to that. So the first game is Chelsea versus Southampton. Chelsea have one of them really, you know, sort of 50-50 um, teams at this minute. Do I think it's worth £14.95? No, I don't think any game is. Especially if you're a season scholar. Um, then we go Newcastle Man United at St James's Park, and you'll be able to see it popped up on the screen. Sheffield United Fulham. Uh, yeah, I would have paid fourteen pound ninety five for that. Leicester versus Villa. Yet again, I might pay it, but I need the fact because of you know they're both two good clubs and they're both doing well at this time. Next one is West Brom and Burnley, won't pay £14.95 for that. Villa Leagues, bit of a derby, but I won't pay for that. Fulham Palace, London Derby, I won't pay for that, that's my disrespect to either of them. When I'm saying I'm not paying for it, I'm saying I'm not paying for it, not because of the club, but because of how much it costs. Next one is Liverpool, Sheffield United, won't pay for that. Arsenal, Leicester. I might pay for that, but you know, I'm so against this, I probably won't pay for any games that we got to pay £14.95 for. Brighton West Brom, I'm a Brighton season ticket holder, right? And I know I addressed on this on this video already, but I pay my start my season ticket back in May, back before we finish the last season. And now I want me to pay an extra £15 to watch the game. No, I won't pay for that. More than likely one of my family members might, but I will not. I'll rather 
watch the Let's Talk Saturday or listen to BBC Sussex or you know find another way of doing it. The next one is Wolves versus Crystal Palace. Yeah, again, I won't pay for that. Burnley Chelsea won't pay for that. And uh, Villa Southampton won't pay for that. Spurs Brighton now. Spurs Brighton been there once, twice. I think. Um, uh, how many times have we been up there? I think it's uh, twice. The new stadium, anyway. Great game, but yeah, I won't pay for that. And the last game is Fulham versus West Brom, 30th of October. If you are going to pay for all these games, it will cost you £224. That's um, uh, 25p. That's just October. Let them know we've got November coming up. Let them know we've got Christmas, the New Year. You know, all these months where we could not be allowed in the stadiums. I think we should be allowed, but, you know, our government think top of That's £224 just for one. Now, let's just say, for example, me. If I pay for all my games and I, you know, I sell a one, I won't. But let's just say I did that. That cost me two hundred. And twenty-four pound. They know when we go into November, December, January. But if you want me to do these, like almost every time this is happening, when we're not allowed back into the football stadium, let put it down in the comments below, or message me over Facebook, or leave me a comment over Facebook, or you know, grab me on Twitter, and I will do this because this is a disgrace. I'm not happy with this. Which one my thumbnail is what it is. As I said, so I've got to pay to watch again. I've already basically paid for my season ticket, and I've got to pay to go to see if they've done it like right. Let's just say Newcastle versus Man United, right? All the season ticket holders at Newcastle got a free pass, right? And the United United fans has to pay fourteen pound ninety five. Right, so it's a bit of like an away day sort of thing. If you go to away days, you don't want my that. And you pay £14.95, that's fine. I don't mind, like when we, I think it's Tottenham, yeah, Tottenham away. 14, I won't mind paying that because it cost me not on 50 or 60 quid for me to go up there to watch the game. So, but where have you got to pay if you're a home supporter? £14.95 on top of your season ticket. Don't forget this price is I guarantee you now that you will not have your season ticket price taken off. I bet you any money they won't do it. By the end of the time this is done, I want to literally see some of the money go to non league. That's where it belongs, because none league are really struggling. I'll do my best to support it, but, you know, 20, £224 for one month. That's just one month. I mean, let it know whether this goes into November and December and January and even February, four months, right? I know we play quite a lot of football within um, December and November. I know we've got an international break as well in November, but that's not, not the point. Time you do that, don't forget, this time everyone starts getting ready for Christmas anyway. You start getting your kids presents, you start doing this. And then they want £14.95. Let me tell you about this price. Someone said on social media, £5, or it might be 12 I can't quite remember. Five pound, fair enough. I'm happy. Yeah, five pound. That's you know, I'm happy to do that. You still make a, you know, quite a lot. I should imagine. But fourteen pound ninety-five. Let me give you. I'm not sure how many of you are into WWE. I used to be. You know, special growing up. Fourteen pound ninety-five used to basically get you a WWE event and box office. But that's over three hours long. Three hours of entertainment when you're a kid. 
and it still is for the smaller ones but the likes of Royal Rumble and Wrestlemania that's £20 yet again but it's great entertainment you could pay £14.95 and watch a boring game of football an absolute boring game of you know football because how many boring games have we seen you know how many games have we watched them and I'm really is that it Fault, I literally want half of this profit, whenever it's going to stop, to go to non-league. Help the non-league clubs out. I, I'm quite shocked of how they came up with this. As I said, Gary Neville, you know, and a few other journalists and everything over Twitter. This was such a bad move for... Um, BT Sports and Sky Sports and whoever else is involved you've got to look at this and say don't forget it's not £14.95 for a weekend it's per game so let's say there's let's just say there's three games in you know in the box office in one day so that's 28 28 that's £42 that's going to cost you to watch three games of football. That's over a match ticket. That is so far over. I know a lot of you are going to have your opinions down below and, you know, have uh, right to do so. But I just thought this, I'd get this video out there because it is such. I'm going to say it, it's a con. It is a con. I know people that, you know, because of what's going on with this world at the minute, the pandemic and whatever, you have got to start looking at... When you, when you find a balance, but £14.95 is not for me, more than likely I won't pay for any of these games. The only one I might do is Spurs, but that's only because it's away from home. I probably won't be paying for West Brom away from home uh, at home because by rights I should be seeing that um, but yeah guys anyway put your comments down below do you think this is a whole saga do you think where you know do you think this is some of the Premier League trying to get us back into the stadiums put all down in the comments below but I'm going to bring this video to an end guys you know what to do give us a big fun time if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching Ciao. now